Good morning, mamas. It is Thursday, the 23rd, so Merry Christmas, because I won't talk to you guys until afterwards. Um, I am 39 weeks, so we are doing a bump update today. Um, technically, I am 38 weeks and six days. I will be 39 weeks tomorrow, but for the sake of this video, just like every Thursday, um, since I have been on my baby watch, I am 39 weeks. Um, this is a pivotal place for me because baby girl is officially fully developed. So 37, 38 weeks is full term, but it is still considered early term because she could stay in and cook a little longer and it would be beneficial. Um, so 39 weeks is when a lot of people will start going into labor, um, or they will get induced, um, because doctors, they are like, okay, she's thousand percent fully developed you are good to go there is zero reason to wait any longer um i obviously am not getting induced if that is not obvious to you that means you have not watched some of my other videos so track back watch some of my other videos um specifically my pregnancy and like labor and birth preferences um walk through that skim through it read through it whatever and hop back on um but a little update from my video on Tuesday, which was very raw and emotional for you guys. Um, mentally, I am doing a little bit better. You can obviously tell I'm a little peppier today. Um, I have really tried to embrace that um, my full belief is that everybody in your life is part of your soul family or your soul community. Um, I believe that each soul in your life was handpicked for you um, and you were handpicked for them and they're meant to be in your life. So a lot of times when people say, you know, people are in your life for either a reason or a season, um, I believe it's all for a reason so that you grow, you develop, you create those relationships. Um, and then same goes for your kids and like your mom and your grandma and everything, like all of your souls are meant to be joined. Um, so I have a very strong belief that obviously growing this little one, um, her soul and my soul have already connected, um, on about as deep as a level as it gets. And to an extent, I believe that her soul and Josh's soul have connected to an extent, but I know that in order for our lives to begin as a family and for our souls to really connect, um, the way that they are meant to for our path and, um, what will start our physical family together that she has to be born at an exact time on an exact date, um, in an exact manner, um, under the exact stars. And knowing that has really helped me over the past couple days know that, um, whether it was because I did some induction method and it worked or she just came randomly or whatever it may be it wasn't random. Um, it wasn't anything I did. It was because that is the exact moment. Um, so a little bit deeper than like, Oh, she'll come when she's ready. Excuse me. Or like, Oh, she'll come at the perfect time. Like, <sighs> yes, that's true. But we're really looking into the depth of it. So natural induction methods I have stopped doing. Um, I've stopped trying to put myself into labor. Now, I'm still walking every day. If I get the urge to pump a little bit, I might. If I get to craving pineapple or I want to have sex or whatever that happens to be a natural induction method, great. Um, if that helps, great. But as far as specifically trying to put myself into labor, I've stopped. Um, I think that contributed a lot to my anxiety because I would wake up and eat all the things and do all the exercises and pump and just everything. And then I would be sitting there going, why am I not in labor? Like this, put this girl into labor within like an hour, like or within a day, why am I not? And it was soul crushing to do stuff all day long, have contractions for a lot of the night and then wake up the next morning and still be pregnant. Um, so I have stopped. Um, we still, I would be absolutely ecstatic if sometime today or tonight I went into labor and we had us a Christmas Eve baby or even a Christmas Day baby. Um, I would love that. <laughs> um, 
and we still for selfish reasons really really want to have her in 2021 but I keep reminding myself um, my due date which is super up in the air and just kind of an average date for everyone um, but still my due date is still a whole week away um, not until the 31st so baby girl will be here um, I am trying to be patient it's not super bad. Um, once I kind of get myself in the right mentality, it's not that bad. Physically, I am really starting to feel it. Um, if you follow my Instagram, you will see I posted a picture yesterday um, where my stomach baby girl has definitely dropped. If you don't follow my Instagram and you wanna see that, I'm not gonna show you right now because I'm just in underwear, but um, you can go look on my story and if you see this and it's a little too late and it already disappeared, it is under my highlight reel of baby mama. But you can kind of, especially if you flip through, see where my stomach definitely has dropped. Um, not a ton, I still am a high carrier, but compared to where it was, um, she dropped. I could definitely feel it. Yesterday was not a good day physically. I spent the majority of the day in bed laying flat. Um, I tried to walk a little, I tried to lay on the couch. And I was in so much pain. Um, my midwives definitely think I developed some late stage PGP, which is pelvic girdle pain, or it also will go by SPD, which is I don't remember, I don't know. It's like it's like symph symphysis pelvic disorder or something. I don't know. It's painful. It basically is the same thing. Um, and it's just where all your ligaments and joints are loosening and stretching so much and they're putting all that pressure and it hurts. Some people um, develop it super early in pregnancy and it gets so bad they're in wheelchairs or on crutches because they can't walk. Um, and luckily mine developed super late and it's more of a reaction to the weight and her dropping where I did carry her so high for so long that now that she's dropped my, everything from the hips down is like, what the hell are you doing to me? Um, so that is very painful. That is really the main reason that I am like, get this baby out because it feels like somebody from both sides is like pulling my hips apart constantly. And my, all the muscles around like my pelvic bone are like, and it's like excruciatingly painful. I literally laid in bed all day yesterday because that was the only way that it, it was still painful, but it like eased some of it. So, um, Hopefully that doesn't kickstart in again today. I can kind of feel it already, so I'm trying to take it easy. Um, but that is the biggest thing right now. Um, they said that she was head down. She was in my right on my pelvic bone where she needed to be. She could engage a little bit. That was Tuesday at my appointment, and now she's dropped. So I definitely think she engaged. Um, they said her little foot was back here. This is her whole butt and back, so she is... Um, whatever the word, posterior, anterior, I'm not sure. Whichever she's supposed to be where she's not sunny side up, which I know technically she could still roll and move, but at least as of my appointment, they said she was in the perfect position. They said if they had to guess just by measuring with their hands, probably seven-ish, seven and a half pounds. So if I carry her for a couple more weeks, she'll definitely be, you know, close to eight, nine pound baby, which is fine. Um, so we'll see, but everything's good. Um, like I said, mentally doing a little bit better. I've just kind of had to um, talk some through some things with myself. I do some um, just like positive reinforcement meditation to kind of practice my hypnobirthing I'm gonna try to do with relaxing my body on command. Um, and I think that has helped some, but really, just stop trying to put so much pressure on myself to have this baby um, or to prove people wrong that I'm gonna have her in 2021 um, and just really putting a lot more focus on enjoying the last little bit of me being able to do this without having to stop and get baby or me spending some time with Josh. We've done a couple date nights or um, it's just me with the dogs or I can nap when I want, things like that. I'm really trying to just focus on enjoying that right now and we are basically ready whenever she is. Whenever her little soul is ready, we are ready. So um, with that being said, I am doing two hauls today for you guys. Um, 
first off, I just want to say neither of these is sponsored. I'm not being paid. I didn't get free, sent free stuff. Um, if either of these companies wants to, I wouldn't object because I love them. But um, this is just more mama to mama being helpful. If you haven't heard of these things or you just need a little push in the right direction, I really wanted to show you um, some of my like jackpot things that I have gotten. So um, first off for, try not to flash you guys, for pregnancy and postpartum, um, this has been a lifesaver and an absolute joy my entire pregnancy. Um, it is an O Baby box. The reason that this has been it is because during pregnancy, you know, you have a couple people that ask how you're doing, but basically it's baby, baby, baby. Let's do the baby's room. Let's get the baby clothes. How's the baby doing? Name, gender, everything baby. And sometimes you just want it to be about you because you are growing this baby and it sucks sometimes. Um, so getting a monthly subscription box that sends you pregnancy goodies is like the light of your life every month. Um, there are an absolute ton out there. I literally just Googled like pregnancy subscription boxes and there was a website that pulled up like the top five and like their ratings and why people like them and what they consisted of. And I chose to go with Oh Baby um, over like the traditional, I think like one of the number one ones is like the bump box. The biggest difference, the biggest two differences in this box compared to other boxes is that everything that you get in this box is full sized. You get eight to 10 products um, every month that are all full size. So no testers, no like the trial size, nothing that's like, here, try this. And when you fall in love with it, go buy it. It's like, no, here's your, here's your free product or not free. But when you're getting eight to 10 full size products for $40, you're getting a lot of shit for free, let's be real. Um, so they were all full size products, which I liked because I didn't have to like try anything and then order it. Um, and all of the products for the most part have lasted me my entire pregnancy um, or I still have like an absolute ton left. So that was awesome. And then the other thing about this box is um, that everything in it was a clean product, which one of my biggest um, things with not even pregnancy, but before pregnancy, um, and just my wellness in general is that um, every skincare um, or like health beauty product type thing that I use, I try to make sure it's as non-toxic as possible and it's only with clean ingredients. So knowing that everything that comes in this box, I do not have to be like, I wish I could use that, but it's got freaking carcinogens in it. <laughs> you don't get that. Everything that is in this box has been vetted um, and is a good, clean, non-toxic product. So having clean, non-toxic, full-size products for 40 bucks a month was my go-to. Um, I'm not doing an unboxing because I already unboxed it and I wasn't gonna be fake about it. But this is what the inside of the box looks like. <laughs> but they sent it in the mail. Um, also, the other thing that I really liked about it is that they cater it towards your pregnancy. So you put in your due date and whether you sign up the second you find out you're pregnant like I did, or you sign up in your sixth or seventh month, um, they cater it to what month of pregnancy you're in. And then they even do, cause it's technically a year. So it's like nine months of pregnancy and then they do three months of postpartum as well. So even after you've had your baby, they send you for the first three months boxes of goodies that are very catered towards postpartum. So that's really nice too. Um, but they send you this little pamphlet and it's specifically for the third trimester, which I am in. It has a little insert that's just like, hey mom, like a note from the editor kind of. Um, they show you how to get some freebies if you want. And then they have a whole list of all the products and it shows you what each product is, the name of the product, where you can buy the product if you want more, and then a whole little excerpt about each product um, that really gives you like an in-depth of where it came from, what it's used for, how it's helpful, whatever. Because every once in a while they will send you something and you're like, oh, like it's massage oil, great. But then you read and you're like, oh no, it's very specifically for this. So it's nice that they give you a little bit of information because this stuff obviously is all packaged, but it's not like it comes in like some big box that gives you all the info. So this is kind of like your inside scoop on everything that you got. Um. 
it gives you a little excerpt that says you're glowing of what month you're in so they know I'm in my ninth month so they sent me some info and then this is just like frequently asked questions about their um, company but they send you this which is really nice and then I'm gonna show you guys what I got in this box um, just so you guys can get an idea so first they sent me this um, this is the best way I can describe it is a like life coach workbook um it says i'm just going to read you what the back says because that's going to be easiest it says are you tired of hoping for a new way or keeping your fingers crossed that everything is going to stay the same pivot five practices to strategize and support you through change by pauline caballero plays with the idea and notion that change isn't coming it's here over a five week period we will explore the five main distinctions of the pivot concept perspective and intuition vision obstacles and tactics similar to how we train our muscles through working out we will train our minds through a series of practices to develop habits that will support us to thrive in our forever changing environment so it's written by a life coach um she is the president and co-founder of power yoga canada and so i think she does yoga too because they sent me this and this is a free three month subscription to like at home yoga it says power yoga at home delivers hot sweaty power yoga on demand sweat discover transform no matter where you are three months free and then this is the book it is a whole book um like i just opened up right and the first thing you see is week two intuition practice one releasing regret and it has like a little um excerpt and then some of it is just like a little thing about reading but then you can see some of it is kind of um like a workbook like this is your release regret list um they have create your vision and it talks about a vision board they have questions to ask what are my three strongest characteristics um what can you count on me for if you had one wish for me, what would it be? I think that you talk to your partner about or somebody cares about you um, or you can ask yourself. And it's just a whole kind of life coachy workbook to just help you work through all of the changes going on in life. So sometimes they do send you some more serious things like this. This is actually really nice. Um, and then sometimes like I've gotten like fun pregnancy coloring books or um, I've gotten like little mini baby books. Like they send you all kinds of good stuff. So next, they went ahead and sent me um, a lactation supplement. It is 60 capsules. It is a full-on container. Um, it is just a dietary supplement like you would get anywhere else completely clean. So that's lactation supplements if I need them. They sent me this bag of tea. It is beauty tea. It is natural and organic, caffeine-free, made in Greece, vegan and gluten-free, and it tells you um, it's rich in ingredients that will help you clear your skin and pr promote a positive and healthy well-being. So just something nice for the end of pregnancy to kind of get you going. I'm not a big tea drinker, so I probably won't use this, but I might. But it just helps kind of a supplement type thing. Something cute, they sent me these little baby socks. Um, they kind of look like mittens the way that they are right now, but they're like little zero to six, it says like zero to six months. Um, they will send you some cute baby stuff because obviously you're pregnant and you're excited about baby. But you can see, they're just little socks and it's cute on the bottom. They have grippies and the grippies say, if you can read this, bring me some milk. Super cute. So they'll always send like cute little um, like I said, baby things that just kind of help you get excited. They sent me really cute picture frames for ultrasounds and all kinds of stuff. Next, they usually send some type of moisturizer or something because they know dry skin and pregnancy is crazy. This is the one they sent me this time. It is a honey chai steeped milk lotion. Um, smells really good. It smells like honey milk. Um, and it even says rescuing along the way so this brand is it says your purchases help us care for forgotten neglected and abused farm animals at our fhf ranch and sanctuary so you're helping animals so they sent me that lotion um they sent me a 
chocolate coconut lip rocks scrub which is awesome because people keep telling me um to put this um or like to put this in my hospital bag and i've just never owned a lip scrub because they said your lips do some crazy chapped shit in labor so i'm excited because now i have some so that's a full thing of really good lip scrub they sent me this um soul clean probiotics balancing cleanser it says Refreshing water-based face cleanser removes dirt, impurities, and makeup. Probiotics gently clean the skin and lock in moisture and improve skin smoothness. So just another really good um, cleanser for my face. So they do a lot of skin products and like beauty products. And then last but not least, what I'm most excited about, they sent me this really cute little purple hippo baby robe. Um, I'm really excited about this because I don't have any type of baby robe yet for her. Um, mainly because they're all so soft and I personally hate when I get out of the shower and I'm wet or damp, um, or I've even, I felt like I dried off and then I put on like a really fluffy soft robe or PJ pants or something. And then I start feeling like sticky and most baby robes are so soft that I was like, I feel like I'm going to dry her off and then put her in clothes. Um, or wrap her in a blanket. Like I'm not gonna put a really fluffy soft robe. This is like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like actual terry cloth. So it's like a washcloth or like, it's like a towel. So I can put this on her and dry her with it at the same time. So that was a huge win for me. And it's super freaking cute with the little purple hippo. So I'm excited. But that was what was in my baby box. Um, so like I said, a lot of skincare and beauty products and helpful things for me as a mom. And then they send you usually like a baby thing or two to kind of get you excited. But um, even if you don't go with that brand, my biggest thing that I will do every single pregnancy is sign up for a subscription box each month so that I do not have to try to buy things for myself as much. And it's like a nice little surprise, like a, hey, you made it through another month of pregnancy. Good job. Here's a gift. And like I said, all of that for 40 bucks. So definitely a steal. So that is that haul. Um, and then lastly, I'm going to go through this kind of quickly um, so I don't bore you to death. But um, I am a very big like thrifter, secondhand person. My degree is in fashion merchandising and one of my biggest focuses was sustainability. So as much as I love like Shein and I love Target and all of the places, you know, H&M, whatever, and I will get stuff from there occasionally, all of it is really bad fast fashion. Um, it's horrible for the environment. It's horrible for the people making it. It is just a huge monopoly on being a terrible person, basically, to be completely honest. So... I am all about um, spending some money on some cute baby clothes and getting some brand new outfits for certain things. But as far as play clothes, sleepers that they're going to outgrow very quickly or spit up on or get a blowout or get stains or have breast milk all over or whatever it may be, I like to shop secondhand because most of the things that are at secondhand places have been worn maybe once, maybe twice. So they're in really, really good condition. And honestly, over half the stuff ends up, somebody bought it, they pulled the tags off and maybe washed it. And then their kids grew out of it before they ever wore it. So then they just chunked it to Goodwill. Um, and so it never actually even got worn. And so instead of where they paid anywhere from 10 to $50 for the sleeper, I paid a dollar or $2 and it's brand new. Um, or if it was worn, worn like once, great. Um, so I am a big proponent of that. Um, I did not get these things at Goodwill. I actually don't like to shop at Goodwill for baby stuff. I think that that is actually one of the places that people throw things that um, really need to be thrown out. They have stains, they were worn a thousand times. So a free drop off center for secondhand clothing. I will go to Goodwill type of place for myself, but for baby clothes or if I'm actually looking for something that is decent, um, I will go to Once Upon a Child, which is the hall today, um, or somewhere that people kind of got paid. So an actual consignment store that people brought their nicer things, got paid a little bit for them, but they're not going to bring their junk because they know they're not going to make money. So um, 
With that being said, this is my Once Upon a Child haul. If you haven't heard of Once Upon a Child, it is like a, I think it's owned by the same people, like a Play-Doh's Closet or a Buffalo Exchange for babies and kids. Um, you can take your bag of stuff there. They kind of give you an estimate of how much they think it'll sell for and how much they'll give you for it. They pay you on the spot and then they resell it for you. Um, so you get stuff that actually was worth something because they're not going to take something that was pure junk or has stains or is gross. Um, and they sell it for super cheap, just like Goodwill would. And it's amazing. So look up in your area if there is a once upon a child and run, don't walk. Cause I'm going to show you all the stuff that I got. Um, I'm going to start out by telling you, I got all of this stuff for $24. It was $24 and some odd change. So we'll say, we'll round it up. $25 for all of this baby stuff. So starting out, I got this bib. It's just a little snap bandana bib. It is Gerber. It had the tags on it. So it still had the like hard cardboard piece. It was attached. Somebody literally got it at a baby shower or bought it and never used it and full tags and everything sold it back. Um, I got this for 50 cents and I love space. So um, this was my first big steal. Next I got, and I'm gonna tell you how much this stuff costs so you have an idea, but this is um, Cloud Island, so it was just a Target brand, but it was just a little pair of baby gray sweatpants. Um, I got these for $3.50, or $3. Um, and then also if you do the math, you're gonna realize this doesn't add up to be 20, less than $25. They were also running a big sale for the holiday, not a big sale, but I got like, all of this stuff, and then since it was all under 12 months, I got all of that already on the low prices for 30% off of my entire purchase, so that's why. Um, this is a little Gerber sleeper, and it's one of their organic cotton ones. I got this for $3.50, I believe. Yep. Literally looks brand new. There's not a pick, there's not a stain. Like, I swear this never got worn. Um, just a little jumper. This was from something called Modern Baby. It's another little jumper. Once again, like perfect condition. I even filtered through and was very picky about like if it was kind of picked and stuff, I didn't get it. So all of this, I swear, never got worn or it did for like five minutes. Um, I got this one for $3.50. I got just a basic little long sleeve onesie baby pink has white stars um none of the white stars are even starting to peel which shows me that when you buy cheap stuff like this um and your baby wears it it starts coming off this was never worn this is from bundles baby place i got this for a dollar fifty then this one is from baby kiss i also got this for a dollar fifty same thing not a pick not a stain nothing and then my big ticket items, because you guys know how amazing zipper sleepers are and you know how expensive they can get. This is Gerber. So anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks, just depending. I got this little zipper footer, footy sleeper. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Um, not even a pick. I got it for $2.50. I got this little zipper sleeper from Amazon Essentials. Doesn't look like it was ever worn. $2.50. I got this one. This was from the children's place. Definitely was never worn. The tags were still on this. It says Mommy's Little Monster. This is as cheesy as it gets for me, but I couldn't help it because I like purple. Um, $2.50. And then I got, this is another Gerber. Josh's grandmother loves bunnies, so I had to get it. Um, this one, I don't think, I think this one was probably worn like once because it does have like a couple little spots that are like kind of sort of picked, but in reality, it looks freaking brand new and she's going to sleep in it. $2.50. Okay. So I got all of that. And then my big ticket item that I'm so excited about because you guys know how much baby shoes cost, especially if they're name brand. I got these size one infant baby bands. There's not a stain, there's not discoloration, there's not a scuff mark. If you look at the Velcro, you can always tell if something's been worn by Velcro because there will be fuzzies or hair or something in the Velcro. Velcro's brand new. 
these things haven't been worn, okay? Even on a baby, I can say, maybe once. Maybe they stuck it on their feet for a picture and then the baby kicked them off. So that's why I won't pay $25 to $50 for these baby shoes. I got these for $4.50, okay? Baby Vans, there's all your logos to prove you they're real. I'm so excited, and I'm so excited because Josh has all the Vans. $4, okay? So I got Vans, which are normally at least $25 by themselves. Four zipper sleepers, two long sleeve onesies, two regular rompers, a pair of pants, and a bandana bib for $24. So if she gets this stuff messed up or like she never really wears any of it because she just grew out of that size way too fast, I don't feel guilty. I didn't just spend $40 on some kite baby sleepers for one kite baby sleeper and she didn't get to wear it and crap. Now I'm gonna have to try to either resell it or save it because I paid like two or three dollars for each of those things. That's amazing. So I just want to show you guys that because that is my big ticket winner um, of my once upon a child haul. When she gets here and I kind of see how she grows and what size I need more of, it will definitely be going back. Um, they also have a ton of baby gear like strollers and play yards and gyms and stuff that's in pretty good condition. They have diapers, they have toys, all the shoes, they have everything and it's like baby heaven in there. So you can get overwhelmed because it's a ton of stuff because um, it's a big store and it's all baby and kid up to like, I think like as far as youth sizes go. Um, but it's amazing. So go, don't knock it until you go in there. And then if you're too good for it, that's fine. But just try it. Once Upon a Child. Um, so Once Upon a Child haul, oh baby boxes. And those are my two big lifesaver ticket things um, for pregnancy and baby shopping. And like I said, 39 weeks, hopefully on Tuesday the 28th, um, I will be videoing with a baby in my arms. But if not, I have a 39 week doctor's appointment. I'll be like 39 and a half. So um, I'll probably go to that appointment that afternoon and then I'll come back and film and just give you guys another bump date. But Either way, I will talk to you guys Tuesday.